Hi there, my name is Vic Veer, I'm an ENT surgeon and I specialise in helping people with snoring and sleep apnea problems. So today I'm going to tell you about mandibular advancement devices. Now these devices are a bit like mouth guards, they go into your mouth and they pull your lower jaw forward and by doing that it also drags your tongue forward off the back wall of your throat so you can breathe better behind there. That helps with snoring and obstructive sleep apnea. So I'm going to start off with thermoplastic mandibular advancement devices or those that aren't custom built. These are the ones that you put in hot water, put into your mouth and mould them yourself at home. This way you don't need a dentist and they are very cheap to buy. I'm going to review three of these in this video today and I'll leave links in the description. And I'm going to look at Snore No More, uh, Somnigard 3 and uh, Rejoy's anti-snoring mouthpiece. So firstly, let's see what the medical literature says about these devices and how they are different to the custom-built devices that dentists make for us. I have to say the quality of the evidence I found for mandibular advancement device was excellent and there are lots of papers out there to help us. In summary, however, I found that mandibular advancement devices brought your AHI, or the number of times you stop breathing every hour, down by 10. Now this is why mandibular advancement devices are useful for people with mild to moderate obstructive sleep apnea. So anyone with a AHI less than 30 would do quite well with this on average. On the other hand, if you've had a drug-induced sleep endoscopy and you found that a few millimetres of jaw thrust seemed to help you, I found that severe obstructive sleep apnea can be completely cured with these devices. Now when compared to CPAP, these devices don't bring the AHI quite as low, but they do make people feel just as good as when using CPAP. I think this is because you're able to use these devices most of the night, so you gain the benefit for longer. When comparing mandibular advanced devices that have been boiled in water and bitten into at home, compared to those that the dentist has made, they seem to work just as well for sleep apnea. However, the cheaper devices have more side effects. They tend not to last as long, they fall out of your mouth too quickly at night, they cause tooth pain, and most worryingly, they seem to change the bite pattern that you have and change the position of your jaw, so you do get some pain in your jaw joint. Now, this can happen with the more expensive devices, but it seems if a dentist fits these devices, there's a less of a chance of causing these problems. So in this part of the video, you're going to see my attempts at trying to use these devices to try and fit them into myself. I'll try each one in turn, and at the end, I'll show you a close-up of my teeth and how it fits. And what we're hoping for is a really nice tight fit, keeping my jaw forward and not letting it drop back. Okay, so the first thing you need is your wife's kettle and some boiling water. And then you need to pour that boiling water into a bowl. So starting off with Snore No More, you use the blue applicator, push it into the hole inside the mandibular advanced device and then drop it into the boiling water. Once the plastic is all softened up, put a few drops of cold water on top of it so it doesn't completely burn your mouth. Then you have to bear the burning sensation on your gums for a short while, whilst you try and mould the plastic directly onto your teeth to give yourself the tightest fit. Then take the mouth guard out of your mouth once it's cooled down. Then drop the mouth guard into cold water to seal the shape. Unfortunately, even after a few attempts I was unable to get a tight fit. The guard kept slipping out of my teeth when I opened my mouth. So I boiled some more water, filled up a bowl and softened up the Somnigard 3. This one comes with a slightly different stick to hold it under water. Essentially it's the same process. This time however I forgot to cool it down before putting it into my mouth. And if you look closely you'll see the pain in my eyes. Please like this video if you feel sorry for me. And even after all that I couldn't get this one to fit tightly either. And so with some intrepidation, I moved on to the Rejoice version, which has the advantage of being able to titrate how much advancement you need with it. But unfortunately, they don't come with any holder, so I had to use these medical grade barbecue tongs. Again, I forgot to cool it down and you can see the point I realized this. Now, although I managed to get a tight grip on my upper teeth, I still didn't get a tight grip on my lower teeth. And it was so large, it made me want to gag. So at the end of all of that, I couldn't get any of these to really work for me. It might be the way I made it or the way I was trying to mould it to my teeth, or maybe just my teeth. But I know there are people out there who've had some success with these. But just because I tried it on me doesn't mean it doesn't work for other people. The research seems to suggest it does work for some people. So if you did find that these helped you, please let me know in the comments. And thank you very much for watching all this way. I hope to see you in the next video when I look at the custom-built ones. Thank you very much for watching.